What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another Triple the Shenanigans vlog. In today's video, I'm going to go into detail about what happened with Candace, why did she end up in the hospital having to get a procedure done, and how is she doing now? Let's jump right into this. A lot of you have been asking what happened, is she okay, um, why is she in the hospital basically. If you saw my story on Instagram, you saw that we were at the hospital, Candace was getting a procedure done, and there's like zero explanation as to what was happening. So I asked Candace if this was okay to share to give you guys the details and she said it was fine. But shortly after we all had COVID, she, you know, she had her monthly and it was extremely irregular and it lasted so long that we were getting worried and scared so we scheduled an appointment with an OBGYN. <clears throat> so we haven't, she hadn't been to an OBGYN in a while. Actually, excuse me, since the kids have been born at least she has not seen one so at least three years. So we're like let's go get you checked out make sure everything's okay. We went and explained what was happening and the doctor was like okay let's take a look and let's figure out, let's get to the bottom of it. Well, right off the bat, the doctor mentioned that she has a thick endometrium lining, which is not necessarily normal. And that could be an indication that there's something else going on. And so <clears throat> I had mentioned in previous videos that we had kind of like a cancer scare. Well, that's how it started. They scraped her uterus from the inside and they sent it to the pathologist or whoever does that. Um, and thankfully that came back as nothing scary. But in that process, they also found what they call polyps, which are little balls that stick to like the wall of the uterus on the inside. And the doctor didn't know if it was one, if it was many, and what exactly was causing that irregular monthly. So she's like, we have a couple of options, but we can remove those polyps. And because Candace and I are the people that we are, we of course went on like a Google search and we're trying to figure out, well, are these dangerous? Should we get them removed? Blah, blah, blah. And to make things safer in the long run, we were like, okay, let's just get them removed. It was a really simple procedure. It was called um, a hysteroscopy and a DNC, I believe, something about like scraping the inside of the uterus to make it clean. They look like little clear bubbles. They're like stuck on the inside of her uterus. So they went in there with what the doctor explained as a camera that has little chompers at the end and then those chompers like remove those balls or whatever. But it was extremely fast. It was a very fast procedure. Probably took, the procedure itself took 15 minutes, probably less. It was like a ton of hospital waiting time, like waiting to be called for registration and then waiting to get called back into the pre-op area and then the actual pre-op where they're, you know, taking her vitals and talking to everybody and signing consent forms and doing all the hospital-y stuff. And then finally when we got to the, okay, we're taking her back, we're, you know, putting her to sleep now. And you're going to see all of this because I recorded a lot of it. Um, but I literally left... Candace's side went to go get coffee because we hadn't had breakfast or had anything to drink because Candace couldn't have anything to eat or drink. So I left really quick to go grab a coffee. I came back and while I was in the car getting ready to go back inside, the doctor had called me and said, hey, everything is over. Um, she did really well. Uh, she was also she also had to be put under. So that's why we had to do it at the hospital. But otherwise it was a very minor procedure. There's really no recovery time other than the fact that Candace has been extremely crampy. Rightfully so, they scraped her insides, right? She's been really crampy and then she was like woozy coming out of the anesthesia, super groggy. Um, the That's what really affected her the most. But yeah, that's, that's pretty much what happened. I'm gonna let you watch the little bit of footage that I did get of us waiting and us, you know, the actual surgery day or procedure day. So yeah, enjoy the next few clips and uh, I'll give you guys an update at the end. We're at the hospital bed. 
place. <laughs> That's for the place. <laughs> it's because it's not technically the hospital. I mean, it's at the hospital. It's at the hospital, but it's not like your typical hospital it's outpatient a center. Yes, that. So we had to fly here. Literally dropped the kids off. The car barely stopped. <laughs> we said, get out. I'm just kidding. Nervous. Yes. We'll be alright. I don't know. Look at her crocs and socks. Your future self's gonna roll her eyes at you. I know. You're like, what were you thinking? <laughs> <laughs> crocs and socks. Okay. Alright, so I just need your initials there. And then I'll get your arm down. And you're going upstairs with her press. Cool hat. <laughs> Lucky number 13? That's right, it's my birthday. <laughs> it is. <laughs> Lucky number 13. Oh, look at it. Friday the 13th, even. Oh. It's meant to be. Yeah. <laughs> Good thing Kylie's not here. She'd be all. Oh, I know. Yeah. <laughs> She's so superstitious. <laughs> she is. Have you seen the doctor yet? No, she hasn't been in yet. I feel like we're back at their pregnancy appointments. I know. I just need the you just didn't have this get up. Uh, you didn't have this get up when we would like wait at the ERs when your blood pressure was spiking. No, that's what I'm saying. I just was sitting there with my clothes on. Yeah. And I just monitoring the heart and my blood pressure for every 10 minutes. Yep. Just you and this guy. Yeah, that's it. Candace Q. We have the same initials. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's doing great. She's pretty much back to normal. It was the first couple of days that kind of took her a bit to catch up. The doctor said she was gonna be groggy and potentially nauseous and potentially just like uncomfortable for the first couple of days, which has been pretty spot on to how she's been feeling. The thing that hasn't helped is with the kids, they're terrified of thunder. And we're in the middle, actually kind of towards the end of our monsoon season, which means we have thunderstorms constantly. So with our luck, of course, the thunderstorms only ever happen at night. And we've lost power a couple of times, which means their sound machines turn off. They pop up thinking it's time to wake up. They hear thunder. They freak out. So we've been struggling a lot with that. So on top of Candace not feeling great after her procedure and then... <sighs> Um, the kids not sleeping and we're just extremely sleep deprived and we're trying to like do our best at keeping up with them and keeping up with our day-to-day -day stuff and it's been a challenge but all is in the rear view mirror because it's all over and done with so all is good everyone's healthy everyone's good we're relieved so hopefully it's all uphill from here but thank you guys so much for watching this video thank you for being so invested in our family and with our well-being and making sure that we're all okay. Thank you for all the messages that we received. We really appreciate you guys so much and we love you. So thank you, we'll see you on the next video. Bye.